Chapter 6 Draw Bypass Links for Inlets Set on Grade This chapter, you'll work on a methodical fashion to create bypass links, implement a naming convention for the bypass links, and delete the outfall nodes created by the import STM file process. The suggested naming convention used in this task is not a requirement, just a helpful suggestion for keeping organized with minimal effort by utilizing names automatically created by the software. This method of creating bypass links and deleting outfall nodes can help you pick up where you left off if you are interrupted while creating bypass links. The remaining outfalls will indicate which bypass links have not been renamed. In this chapter, you will learn about drawing conveyance links, deleting outfall nodes, connecting inlets, and replacing bypass link names. Before beginning this chapter, run the chapter setup. Go to your data set, and then find chapter 6 dash SS2, I mean, chapter 6 dash 2204955201. Double click on it and then browse to your C drive Civil 3D Projects folder and click OK. Then click Unzip. This will overwrite any existing files in your project folder. Exercise 7.1 Draw the convenient draw the conveyance link from upstream to downstream inlets. Inlets on grades do not capture all the runoff. Some runoff will continue along the gutter of the roadway to the next downstream inlet. This gutter flow is called bypass flow. To access this behavior, you must hydraulically connect upstream and downstream inlets with a bypass link. A bypass link is a conveyance link, just like a pipe is a conveyance link. For all bypass links in this manual, Set the shape to direct in the conveyance link dialog as shown in the example. In our examples using the direct settings will simplify our workflow. Double click on the icon on your desktop for Autodesk Storm and Sanitary Sewer Analysis. Next open the proposed drainage SR61 project file. Click on the file pull down menu, choose open, go to your Civil 3D projects folder, click on 2204955201, locate the drainage folder, and then locate the SSA folder. Click on the proposed drainage-sr61.spf. Click open. If you are prompted to find the background image file and you want to search for it, click on yes. Click on the drainage folder, select the DRPRRD05, and click open. From the elements toolbar, select the add conveyance link command. Allow the software to automatically assign the link ID. You'll rename the links later in, in the steps. First, locate S9 and then locate S8. Select S9 and then copy the following output links, or the convey it links. Locate S8. Next, locate S10, connect S8 to S7, Then connect S11 to S12. Then 
S7 to S6. S11 to S12. S4 to S5. S13 to S12. S3 to S2. And S1 to S2. and S16 to S13. Press escape to end the command and then save your SSA project. Refer to the following screen captures as guidelines on how to connect your inlets or your structures. If you have to, press pause at each screen capture. Exercise 6.2. Replace bice pass link name with outfall conveyance link name. Link 02 is drawn from S10 to S11. As is pipe-9. Notice the name of conveyance link L pipe dash 9 to outfall offsite dash 3 is similar to the name of the pipe dash 9. You can copy the name link name L pipe dash 9 to the clipboard before deleting the outfall offset dash 3. Finally edit link dash 02 and paste the name L pipe dash 9 
replacing the name link-02. Now use the step-by-step -step process below to experience this workflow. Double click the LPipe-9 to open the conveyance link dialog box. Highlight and copy the link ID LPipe-9 to the Windows clipboard. Close the conveyance link dialog by clicking the close button. Select outfall offsite-3. Then right click and select delete. From the dialog box, click yes to delete offsite-3. Double click the link 02 convenience link to open the convenience link dialog. Highlight and paste the clipboard contents in the link ID field to replace the link 02 with LPipe-9. Change the shape to direct and then click the close button. Double click the upstream node S10 to open up the inlets box. Verify that the roadway gutter bypass link is set to L pipe dash nine. Click close to close the dialog box. This workflow can help you pick up where you left off if you're interrupted while creating bypass links. The remaining outfalls will indicate which bypass links have not been renamed.